The Duke Blue Devils improving to 8-1 on the season, a convincing 94-55 win over the Black Bears of Maine. Mike Morgan, Dino Gaudio, and Dino, uh, we were dropped a few bombshells in terms of roster news before the game, and it worked out well for Duke. Well, they were good bombshells, because I'll tell you what, Jason Tatum back in the fold. This is a kid that's incredibly versatile. He's almost a point forward, Mike. He could handle the basketball. He could shoot the three. And I'll tell you what, a fine addition. Here's the three-point shot for Duke. It's 6'8". He gives size and depth to a Duke front line that needs it. And then Marquise Bolden coming back. And what he did really well this afternoon, man, he was all over the offensive backboard. He could protect the rim. And watch him follow the shot. See, that's an effort area right there, all the way from the top of the key. A nice find from, Je uh, from Jones in the dunk. A really nice player, and then, wow, how good was Luke Kennard this afternoon? He was 35 points good, 11 of 16 from the field. And what I love about him, he could score at all three levels. We're looking at the three ball right here at the, at the end of the first half. And the other thing he can do, quick release, Mike, and the kid also could take the ball to the basket, and that might be his greatest strength. Finishes with either hand. Luke Kennard, their leading scorer, 35 today. Man, was he good without his buddy Grayson Allen or Frank Jackson on the floor. And Jackson and Allen getting a breather in this one. Kennard picking up the slack, a career-high 35. Emil Jefferson had a career-high 20 as Duke wins it in convincing fashion. Final score, Duke. 94, Maine 55. The Blue Devils next up with an out-of-conference matchup against the Florida Gators.